So we've been dating for about two years now and we were talking about it and well, I'm moving in. What? Vince and I want to move in together and we thought he could move in here since he's here most of the time and his place is a sty. Well, I, I wouldn't say that it's a... Babe, it's a sty. Anyway... No. No what? No, you can't move in. <laughs> My name is Annalise, so I gotta say whether or not we're even looking for another roommate. Can... Come on, it's someone to help us out with rent. We're fine with rent. I know it stresses you out to ask your parents for money. Wouldn't it be nice to have some of the weight taken off of our shoulders? Maybe you could splurge on a pizza sometimes. Plus, Vince has a some sort of gaming system. We could have Mario Kart night. Look, living with a guy would make me uncomfortable. I mean... Plus, I don't think these apartments allow for three people to live in a one bedroom anyway, so no, I'm not risking breaching the lease just because you made a bad decision moving with the guy looking for a roommate on Craigslist. Well, privacy's easy. We could buy you a divider or put up curtains. And the three person rule, that's complete crap. But if you're really so concerned about it, we could go see Felix. Well, the three-person rule, it's not a thing I've ever heard of, but even if it was a thing, I like consider couples as one person anyway. If you're willing to move in together, it's like two people meshing together, you know? See? It's not a problem. It is a problem. I have a problem with it. Ooh, I'm um, sensing some tension here. Yeah, yeah no, no shit. shit. You know, I've been told I'm a great problem solver. I could solve world hunger if I tried. <laughs> now, Vince, why do you think you should move in? I'm there all the time. It's closer to school and work. It's cheaper. And you're disgusting to live with. Oh, and how would you know that? Because I've been to your place. Okay, so you've stood, stood in the doorway for a grand total of five minutes. I don't need to walk in and tell you it's disgusting. It's not that bad. It's a bad. sty. It's Stop a sty. Stop comparing us you to You live in a sty. Oh, yeah, what are you doing? Ha, and you know that living together would be a total disaster! Please. Stop it! Obviously, this is not helping. We need to take a different approach. So, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome, when you were talking about moving in, you never mentioned your girlfriend. He didn't even mention he was a reason to move in. Why would you want to move in with a person like that? He's so into his own intelligence, he doesn't even think about other people's feelings. Shut up. You hate him. I know that. I don't know what he did in the past, but you obviously can't forgive it. I knew him in high school. He tormented me. There were times where I did everything I could to avoid him, and he always found me. I'm sure it was a misunderstanding. You're harassing and verbally abusing me isn't a misunderstanding. I know Vince isn't proud of who he was in high school. I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, well, it was. He isolated me from everyone I knew. Kennedy, I love him. He wants to change. He is changing. He owns up to his mistakes. He's funny. He's compassionate. That's also something I can say about you. It just felt logical, you know? I love her and it just seemed like 
Yeah, makes sense. While well, choosing to live with a partner is different than the roommate. Yeah, no dolly. You're so defensive. Obviously, you love her, but you need to be in control, and you don't understand why people can't see it your way. Okay, that's it's not... Not now, baby. I am talking. You assume everyone sees things the way you do, and clearly your future possible roommate does not. Kennedy will come around. Have you talked to her? Well, no. Moving in will require compromise and sacrifice, including sucking it up and talking to Kennedy. You have to consider people's feelings. Like I had to consider my parents' feelings when I sold my Aston Martin Vanquish coupe they bought me. <laughs> but can you see me driving anywhere? I meant to rule. Obviously, a chauffeur would have been better. It's not their fault they're as clueless as Britney Spears. So, I had like tons of cash on me and I was like, okay, let's take this a step further. I'll be a landlord. But nobody told me how difficult that would be. It's like really hard. So I had to sacrifice. Like, the Aston Martin was better than no car, but if I didn't sell it, you know, I had to sacrifice and compromise. Like, I'll just have to settle for Uber X instead of a private chauffeur. Do you see what I'm saying? I guess. <laughs> He's not the same as he was when you were 16. Has he really treated you the same way he did in high school? No. So he's not anything like he was at school? Well... Yeah. So why does it still bother you? Because I'll be on my own again. It'll be like that time my parents abandoned me for Burning Man and you know I hated that. I know. I know. It's just... He'll move in and I'll be burdening you because you'll worry about us getting along and so you'll shut yourselves away in your room. No, we won't. Yes, you will. And you guys will like get engaged and you'll want your own space so you can raise a cat or something and I'll be on my own again. Did I say we were getting engaged? No, but you will. You guys are disgustingly cute together. You're a child development major and he's a man-child. It's perfect. So you are capable of giving people second chances. Because I'm mature. I'm like, I'm really mature. Ken, you're my best friend. And Vince won't change that. As much as I want him to move in, if you're not comfortable, I'll understand. So, how are you the only landlord under 30? Mm -hmm. I invested in cannabis and alcohol. Vince, you can move in. Oh, well, okay. Are you sure? Yeah. You need to learn to clean up after yourself and I'll do the same. And you have to buy me a divider. I'm okay with that. Also, I'm sorry that I thought you were incapable of change. I refuse to see that you were trying to be better that you No, I, I was awful to you, but I swear, I'm no, gonna- Yeah, whatever. Thanks, Ken. That means a lot. Bridget. I like who I am with you. You bring out the best in me, and I love you, and I don't say that enough, because love is not a logical thing. My point is, us moving in together would be a- big step for us that I think I know we're ready for. 
So will you let me move in? You know, that's less romantic than asking me to move in with you. You really want to live in that sty? You admitted it. I'm sorry, love. It's so gross. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks. This should be the last of it. Where the hell did you pack in these? <sighs> Stuff for video game design. Is that what you major in? Yeah. What did you expect? I don't know. I kind of assumed you were too dumb to get into college. Hurtful. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I will be back late tonight. Please don't tear apart the apartment while I'm gone. Stop mothering me. I don't mother. You do a little. Knock, knock. These are for you. And if you have any questions at all, my door is always open. <clears throat> Bye. Bye. See ya. Mario Kart? Loser buys pizza. Oh my god, this is so unsafe. You're gonna end up killing yourself. You're out of your damn mind. Oh my god. Th I feel like I need to call a medic. This is not all right. I think you're having a psychotic break. What are you doing? You're driving off the road. You're suicidal. Do I need to call somebody? Oh my god. And you, you're driving way too fast. This is not realistic at all. You can't do this. Oh my god, I thought you were supposed to be normal. Gonna make me sick. Oh my god. What? You can't do that? Oh my god. What are you doing? You better slow the hell down. <laughs> <laughs>